Welcome to Pressure Points. Our topic is Micron, as in MU earnings. And as of uh, this after hours trading, it's basically flat up fractionally. The news was uh, largely positive. And part of the reason why the positive news is not reflected in the after hour trading is that the stock has been on an absolute tear. It's been up uh, 41% over the past month. That compares to the NASDAQ that's been up 5%. And so a lot of this news was priced in, and particularly because they pre-announced on August 11th. It's an August quarter end, but they pre-announced on August 11th these results that ultimately came in at the high end of the guidance. So there wasn't a ton to add beyond the guidance, and that is the pressure point, and specifically the guidance for their next quarter, which is their first quarter of fiscal 26. So this would be an October. To, or November quarter is for revenue to be up 43%. Now that compares to the just reported quarter of 46% year over year revenue growth. Now that 43% uh, guidance for the next quarter is up against a really tough comp. Uh, back in the similar quarter a year ago, revenue grew just over 80%. And so despite this huge difficult comp, the guidance was positive. And I think it speaks ultimately to this AI train just keeps rolling. And MU's results, I think, are further validation, particularly the guidance is further validation that we remain early. Now, that's the pressure point. The guide was positive. Um, but if we go a couple of layers deeper, also the gross margin guidance was positive. Uh, typically in this kind of boom and bust memory cycle, uh, they have pressure on on their on their gross margins. Uh, they also have periods where they're getting lift, and we've seen that. Uh, they've historically kind of hit historical record levels around 60%, and the guidance is going to be in kind of in that low 50% range coming from the mid 40%. So we're starting to see that lift in margin. That just means that the people who are trying to get uh, their memory, which is as boring as PCs and is most advanced that sits along NVIDIA's GPUs, are paying more for it. And I think that that is a further testimony to the strength of the demand environment. And I think it is a further indication that this build out around AI just continues to defy the laws of gravity. And so if I would uh, kind of jump forward and say MU is a call it 150 billion ish uh, market cap company, big company, but all eyes are going to be soon on the mega caps and what this means for the capex guidance. And as a reminder is that Meta gave some impressive 47% capex guidance for calendar 26, Google, Microsoft, Amazon effectively guided on average up 7% for their capex. And even though Micron is not a one-for-one -one comparison, again, because they got this consumer business, they got some of this high bandwidth uh, memory. Uh, I think it's uh, still the positive guidance, I think is an indicator that there's gonna be increases in the CapEx from those the other three that were relatively modest expectations when they reported their June quarter. I do wanna make a note that the, the one negative was related to high bandwidth uh, memory. This is kind of the next generation uh, was it sold out typically in this type of environment? They get big orders from customers and they get sold out well in advance. And for 2026, their uh, high bandwidth mem memory HBM business was not sold out, uh, but it's probably uh, will get sold out soon. Uh, my sense is after the call that the reason it wasn't sold out is they're still negotiating on price. The demand is there. Uh, there's just this uh, small detail details on price. And so, I expect when they report their next quarter, we're going to see some positive commentary related to uh, HBM being sold out for fiscal 26. On behalf of Pressure Points and Micron Earnings, I'm Gene. Bye for now.